What's up guys, MDEX Music here, and today we're gonna to be answering some of the most often asked questions about the Testatura Pro software. In case you didn't know, Testatura Pro is a great tool for students, composers, and musicians to study the theory behind scales and modes. Currently, Testatura Pro is available on iPad, iPad Pro, and iPhone. So let's get started with the first question. Michael asks, how much theory do I need to know to use Testatura? Great question. Let me first say that Tessitura is not an app for beginners. I would recommend the app for intermediate to advanced level musicians. Tessitura assumes you can read notes on the staff, including accidentals, understand enharmonic spellings of notes, and also have a fairly good understanding of how the circle of fifths works. Remember, Tessitura is based entirely on graphing structures over the circle of fifths. You also need to understand the concepts of modes, degrees in a scale, and how to read chord symbols, and at least have an idea of what chord tones and tensions are. So Eugene asks, what is a structure? In Tessitura, we consider any set of three or more notes as a structure. Scales are structures, but so are triads and seventh chords. John asks, how do I learn how to use Tessitura? Okay, Tessitura is a pretty extensive app with lots of information. We have created more than 50 tutorial videos that you can access within the app. Tap on the Tutorials and Examples button on the initial screen here. I suggest watching the tutorials before you even start using the app. At least the quick guide, which are the first ones on the playlist. Tim asks, I'm used to seeing the circle of fifths going counterclockwise. How do I change this setting? That's easy. Just tap on the circle in the initial screen. The perfect fifth will turn into a perfect fourth. Now you have the notes going the other way. Dan asks, how do I change the key for the scale? To change the key, rotate the outside circle around and you'll get all the keys. Rotating clockwise, you'll get the flat keys and counterclockwise the sharp keys. Just remember, the key is the top note in the circle. You can also use the enharmonic button to change from sharps to flats and vice versa. Reggie asks, I'm a saxophone player. Can I use Tessitura? Yes. You can configure Tessitura for any instrument. Just choose your instrument's transposition and limit the range to fit your instrument. Carlos asks, how do I use the assistant? Okay, Tessitura has an assistant that will perform tasks for you automatically. These tasks are sorted by type. You may choose between different levels of assistant. To do so, go to the Preferences panel here. You will find five different levels from beginner to wizard. All the levels are organized in the same manner, but you will find more involved tasks on the upper levels. You can include the previous level's tasks with this button or turn it off if you just want to see the set of tasks specific for the selected level. So if I choose Advanced and turn the Show Lower Level Assistant off, then you'll only have three tasks to choose from in the Fundamental Theory category. If you enable the Show Lower Level Assistant button, then you will see a lot more tasks in that category. So here you can see the different categories. Fundamental Theory Tasks, Practice, Improvisation and Composition, Upper Structure Triads and Sevenths, Advanced Upper Structures, and Settings. For example, here we have Show Me Information Related to the Major Pentatonic under the Fundamental Theory category. Notice how the major pentatonic is in blue. That's because the major pentatonic is the structure you are currently using as the main structure. Just tap on the task and it will show the related information for the major pentatonic. So you don't have to remember how to do that. The assistant will do it for you. Here's another one. Show me the A flat major scale. The A flat is in blue since that's the key you're currently viewing. Tap on it. The major scale is now loaded and you are still in the key of A flat. Let's choose one more in the practice category. I want to practice the Ionian. As you can see, the assistant has loaded a pattern and started right away. So the assistant is a great feature to try and learn things you can do with Tessitura as well. Richard asks, how do I create my own patterns? Tap on the P button here, then on the X to delete the last skip or step. Change the size of the skip step with the slider and add it to the pattern by tapping on the round button with the number and arrow here. 
Mark asks, how are the structures organized in the collection view? Okay, when you're looking for a structure, the collection shows the structure by possible modes count. So the first structures to appear are the ones with the most symmetry, which is only one mode. So the augmented triad and the chromatic scale share this property and belong to the first group. Within the group, the structures are sorted by number of notes in ascending order. Sammy asks, how do I view all of the modes of one scale at once? Load the scale, go to the info panel, and then tap on the view all modes button. The modes will be sorted by mode number. So that's it for now. Don't forget to watch our other tutorials and demos. Uh, send questions and comments to MDEX Music. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot.